Keisha McKinnon making this video so I can let you know about some cool apps that can help save money or help you get back money or however you want to uh, label it. But the reason that I'm making this video is because one of my co-workers had told me about these apps about a year ago. And I downloaded them, but I didn't really use them or I didn't pay any attention to them because like Miss Robbie says, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. So I had them on my phone and she had just came back from vacation last year and when she came back from vacation this year she said Lakeisha I'm telling you the reason that we can go on vacation twice a year is because of these apps we got back 14 or 1500 dollars with these apps so we were able to uh, get it back or however you want to label it so I said okay so tell me the name of those apps again now I already had Iboda because I've had that for about a year and I've had it for about a year but I'm trying to download something on my iPad I've had it for about a year um, or excuse me five years but I never really paid attention to it it's been on my phone for five years I have one dollar on there and now that I've learned how to use it within the past week or so, I've went from like a dollar to like $15, which is not a lot. However, it's $15 that I didn't have. So for doing what I normally would do, just go to the grocery store or whatever. So I decided that I was just gonna let everybody that I know, um, know how they can save money and take advantage of these offers and it's up to you you could be like me and wait a whole year to be like okay well let me see how i can get my 14 or 1500 dollars or you can take advantage of it now so i made a video last night however the video i was using the ipad and my phone as a reference but my ipad i've been having some issues it didn't want to I upload the video onto YouTube. It was just a lot going on. I've been trying like all night to do it. But what I ended up just doing is deciding to use the phone and the iPad as a reference. But the phone is what I use all the apps on. So they're on the iPad too, but they haven't been used. So bear with me. Um, just got an alert that it's lightning a few miles away from here so we're just gonna try to use this but anyway or try to do this video because I wanted to have some pictures but the pictures are on the phone and I am using the phone to make the video so the first um, app that we're going to talk about is receipt hog and receipt hog is just an app where you just scan your receipts and you can earned with that but I did download it or it is downloaded on the iPad but the way it looks here is different that picture that I just showed you guys is the way that it'll look um, you go in here you open it up like this and basically you want to just scan your receipts for a hundred points I just started using this last week I have 1600 points I'm not really sure how they convert over to dollars because I'm a beginner at this there are some people that have more knowledge and if you could just put some notes in the uh, comment section uh, but if you refer a friend you get 250 points so of course my link will be in the comments and what you want to do is you want to get your link and then I give it to your friends and family members and you can even share the link uh, like this and it'll come up and ask you how would you like to share it but that's receipt pal and you just use that to scan your your receipts and again it looks like this okay the next one is shopkicks and this is how this one looks now shopkicks is on the ipad but i have not used it so this is how it comes up looking now what i like about shopkicks is for example, right here by CVS, which is backwards, you see the little man walking. That just means that if you walk into that store, you get 10 shop kicks automatically. Now, yesterday we had rolled past CVS. I opened up the app and I got the 10 points. So that was pretty cool. For Target, you can get 10 points for just walking in. For Best Buy, 25 points. Marshall's 100. TJ Maxx, 100. 
and if you buy something let's say if I go to Walmart and I want to get some things I'm from Walmart they have certain bundles that you're able to buy and get more back uh, but the other thing I like about Shopkicks is down at the bottom you earn the earn was where I saw where I could get uh, the points that I can get for just walking in but the discover every day uh, Cindy was telling me you'll get the quick kicks and basically what happens is you just watch a video it plays basically telling you how to use uh, the shop kicks once it plays it's explaining how you use shop kicks so it's like a tutorial and you get one shop kick just for looking at it and see I have that but there's three up there so right now I have 710 and there's two more that I can watch and then the back to school you just scroll over Sometimes there'll be a video up there you can watch, or trending, or even deals, online shopping, home, just scroll, snacks and treats, food and drink, health, personal care, beauty, fashion, and this is the Shopkicks how-to. It'll show you how to submit a receipt, how to link a card, and how to shop online. And you get points for watching all of that. And then the other thing is to invite. And it's saying that we're sorry, but it gives you your code, which my code will be in the uh, comments. And you can invite by Facebook, email, or text message, or just send a direct link. So you get 250 kicks for every friend you invite. And let's see if my other pictures have been updated they have not but the other thing that I wanted to talk about is Ibotta or Ibotta I've had that uh, app for about five years never really took it seriously never did anything with it um, until the past week I had one dollar in Ibotta for about five years it just came up in Facebook and said uh, you've had um, you've been with us for five years or whatever but I never really paid attention to it because it didn't make sense to me. But I'm going to open up my screen here. This is the way a lot of you already know about this and may not. This is for people who don't know or want to find out some more about apps. But if you are a little bit more familiar with it and you have uh, some tips for us, just uh, put it down in the comments. But basically with Ibotta, my MVP card from Foodline is linked. So when I go to Food Lion and I purchase something, let's say for example, I'm clicking on grocery in Food Lion here. Let's say I click on these Special K pastry crisps. crisps. There's a little plus sign there. I click on it in one word, what is your favorite thing about uh, the pastry clips? And I can just answer that question because I do, I like those. Answer the question and let's see. And then these uh, fudge stripe cookies, 25 cents. And chocolate milk, any sports drink, but that expires in one day. So when I get these things that are on my list, single serve coffee, I just purchase some of that, doesn't matter what brand. I can get uh, 25 cents back. So what I do is I add these like this little ice cream cup. I did purchase that before. I don't think I'll be purchasing it again though. And when I add these to my list and I use my MVP card, they're already, it's already loaded with these offers. And so I get my money back. Or if I was to go into, let's say we don't have a Kroger, Dollar General, Harris Teeter, Publix, Lowe's Food, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree? I have to check this out. So if you were to get any of these food items from Dollar Tree and you upload your receipt, you can get the cash back as well. Audi's, Family Dollar. So there's something on here for everyone. And let's see. 
then you can look at your offers what you have saved for CVS I have things saved for Walmart Food Lion Walgreens and CVS so that is Iboda again I'm not a professional I'm a beginner and my goal is to make other people aware of how they can save or earn money as well so the next app that we have is let's see checkout 51 so let's see if it's on here let me show you guys the picture of that's Checkout 51, this is Fetch Rewards, and this is Coin Out. Okay, so we have Checkout 51. Let me close it out and go. That's Checkout 51 right there. And this is how it looks. It's telling me that if I was to purchase the honey made graham crackers I can get a dollar cash back I can use it up to five times the wheat thins and you redeem them by adding your offers you buy the products at the store and then you upload your receipt and let's see Then you can also refer a friend, I guess, once you get some offers on here. Checkout 51 has not been too friendly with me. I'm still going to use it. But I don't have anything saved in that one because I'm not going to buy things that I don't need. But we do like those graham crackers, so may take advantage of that. But with the Checkout 51, it looks as if you have to maybe buy bundles I'm not really sure if anyone has any tips on that if you could just put them down in the comments we would appreciate it then the next one is fetch rewards now all of these except for checkout 51 I do have money or points or whatever built up in them and I never use this on the iPad so I'm not even sure if it's on here yes it is so thanks it's right here fetch rewards looks like a gift I open it up and it just says scan a receipt and start earning towards your next reward so for this there's the Scott paper towels pull-ups which thank goodness we don't need uh, lunchables kool-aid cups gelatin cups and you just scan your receipt and basically it says that my lifetime stats remember I just started using this last week 4,447 points earned so not sure how they equate into money right now but hey it was things I was already already gonna buy so I just get my receipt then there's the coin out coin out is looks like that let me see if I can it's right here right in my face coin out so we just click on that and then basically it comes up and it says scan and I just scan my receipts and I have a dollar and 32 cents um, basically just for scanning receipts seeing things that I was already gonna buy there's offers. It tells you how the um, online cashback works, exclusions and timings, Walmart, Hotels.com, Target. So there's a lot of information there uh, that you have at your fingertips to read about. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is Swagbucks. And basically, this is the app. Um, although my coworker says she does not like the app, 
I don't really care for it either but um, for the sake of this video I am going to use the app I normally just go into my browser and just type uh, swagbucks.com and log in each and every time but I'm, I'm gonna do both for the video now, I did all this last night and the video did not want to upload so it's all good so I've never used it on this iPad before so I normally just use it on my phone but this is how the app looks when it comes up and basically my co-worker told me she got the most money from Swagbucks right now it's not showing me my points but it will on the app but these are surveys that you can do for these surveys you can get let's say for example for a 20 minute survey you have the ability to win a hundred dollar a hundred swag book points uh, excuse me it doesn't mean you're gonna get them I found that out by doing these uh, surveys then uh, there's fifth this 15 minute survey you may get 34 swag bucks but you can load more surveys I just always typically try to start out with the ones that are least time-consuming and let me go to the website it's just might be easier that way but it's just the www.swagbucks.com and then I just log in and most of the my time is spent on Swagbucks answering surveys watching videos but again cost me nothing but time they have offers for example if you try out let's say Hulu for you have to keep it for 32 days you pay $5.99 you can get $30 back things like that and for example coupons bloom earn one dollar swag uh, bucks a day for every grocery coupon you print see I'm into coupons too but it just doesn't work because I don't remember to take them to the store all the time and it just doesn't work for me but this is how the page comes up and it has different offers when you go on to swag bucks but the first thing that she was showing me how to do is it's smaller because I'm on the iPad but you scroll down you go home and there's a to-do list every day there's a daily poll right here daily poll a daily search deal of the day daily activity daily discover daily watch attempt a gold survey and complete a gold survey so right now I just started using this last week I have 15 uh, 184 swag bucks once you get 2500 you it's $25 you can cash it out to PayPal and most of these apps you can cash out to PayPal but if I was going to do the when you, you go home because normally on the phone it takes up the whole screen but when you go home and let's say I was gonna attempt to go survey it would just take me over here to the surveys and here's all the surveys some of them you might not be eligible for some of them you may be but there's so many surveys here and I typically will go to the one that's five minutes 20 swag bucks I'll do that one and then they have so many so you can do as many surveys as you want but there's two that's featured and normally I did forget to mention this let me go back here so normally there is a daily poll and that's something simple like do you like Korean barbecue I've never had it yes I love it no I don't like having to cook my own food at a restaurant I like it every now and then okay so I'll say I like it every now and then you just vote and you get a swag book but that's basically a daily poll that they have every day one of them was like what's your favorite flavor of kool-aid something crazy like that so I mean it's up to you I just made this video which is longer than I intended 19 minutes 
to let you know about the options that are out there as far as if you're looking to make some extra money you need to make some extra money you want to make some extra money that doesn't cost you anything most of these apps you just scan your coupon and or your uh, excuse me your receipt and this is the swag bucks app and this is the answer app now in the swag bucks when you go to the website when you get ready to do your daily tasks basically it's gonna show you a movie or a like a little clip but you have to have a player in order to look at the the clip so that's what these two players are entertained now and lifestyles now my co-worker had me download those when I tell you that um, I downloaded them but I was not able to use them I don't know what to do with them but I'm still able to get the points for the watching the show I just click either I liked it or it didn't appeal to me or whatever and I still get my points but it's the daily watch let me just click on it real quick so you guys will see I don't know how it's gonna come up on the iPad because I normally watch it on the phone and it just says start exploring and this might seem overwhelming to some people but you don't have to do all this you do as little or as much as you like so I'm clicking on get get started and it says your content will open in a separate window make sure your uh, pop-ups are enabled on your browser and this is kind of the problem that I have with the phone getting it to play so again I'm beginning I'm a new uh, app user to trying to save so if you have some suggestions or some tips just let us know but normally I click on that and the little video it will come up but it won't play it'll say that it's blocked by my browser but right now it's not letting me do anything let's see let's reload the page okay so let's see what Well, I told you guys it normally doesn't play on the phone. It's not playing here, but normally a separate window, a little browser will come up and it will say, uh, it'll start showing me how many videos that I have to watch. And I just click, I liked it or I didn't like it. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, like right here. And I get the points because it, she never showed me how to use the, the player. So it doesn't work. But uh, that's it for today. The video is way longer than I wanted it to be. If you have any comments, any tips, any apps that could help someone out, let's, let's help each other. That's what we're all here for. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll help you as best I can. Have a great day.